Hello, I'm Dr. Herman, and welcome to another great informative video here. And I want to share with you findings that I discovered on, uh, this was about April 15th of 2015, for a very nice, very, very nice woman who uh, drives about an hour and a half to come to my clinic here in South Florida. And she has been suffering with conditions for 20 plus years is how she's described it, of chronic fatigue, of body pains, of terrible neck pain. Uh, she's very anxious and scattered in her brain, brain fog, um, and uh, a terrible neck pain, excruciating neck pain as she described it. And on this day, uh, April 15th, what we discovered in her was quite, um, quite exciting because we can actually find what causes a person's chronic condition. And for her, it turned up that her most degenerative organ was her spleen. Now understand something. Your spleen in your body is what is the, um, it's like the checkpoint. It, not like it is the checkpoint for all of your blood cells. Your blood cells need to go through the spleen because the spleen says, you're good, go back into circulation. You're bad, you're damaged, we can't fix you. Get out of circulation. Your spleen is actually very important in helping you um, work to fight cancer, if you want to call it fighting cancer, it's, it's, it's important to help you remove the damaged cancerous cells. If the spleen is sick, when the spleen is sick, all damaged cells can go back into circulation. And that's not what you need. You want your body to have healthy cells that go right back into circulation. So what we found is the most degenerative organ on this, uh, this woman's in her body is her spleen. And in her spleen, we found several about 20 different factors, 20 different stressors causing that spleen to be sick. And something else that you've got to understand is that your spleen is connected to your blood supply, it's connected to your nerve tissue. And wherever that blood goes and damaged cells go, and wherever that organ, the nerve that it's connected to, let's say the spleen is connected to part of the neck through the nerve that goes down from the brain through the spinal cord, out the neck, and it comes out down to the spleen. So we found electromagnetic stressors, including cell phone stress, including computer stress. I found dental amalgam, mercury filling uh, residues in her spleen. We can't get that out of her spleen yet because she still has two teeth in her mouth with metal in them. We'll be getting that done. She has lead in her spleen. She had x-ray radiation findings in her spleen. She has flukes, helminth flukes. These are parasites in the spleen. They are blood suckers. They're feeding on her spleen. She had Lyme, Borrelia burgdorferi in the spleen. She had preservatives called BHT. That's commonly found in like cereals, common childhood cereals. BHT is a cancer causing preservative. Even in a gluten free cereal, you turn the box on the side and look at the ingredients and see if they put BHT in there. Cancer causing preservative can destroy brain function. Uh, Bartonella, another infection found in her spleen. Uh, we found uh, a mold called stachybotrys in the spleen. We found tuberculosis uh, vaccine residues in the spleen, multiple other vaccine residues in the spleen. And we also found a mold, excuse me, a fungus called aspergillus in the spleen. When the spleen is sick, all the unhealthy blood cells can get right back into population. They can serve into the brain, into the thyroid, into the bone marrow. Spleen is sick, bone marrow is sick, bone marrow is sick, body sick, bone makes the blood. Spleen is the checkpoint to make sure we're only letting healthy blood back in. We are, right now, I provided her remedies that are going to remove all of these pernicious agents or infectious and toxic and environmental stressing agents from her spleen so that spleen can finally settle down. It needs to relax. When the spleen can relax and do the job efficiently, the body's gonna be able to relax better. I don't think that this step is going to improve her function and her, her well-being 100%, but you better believe you've got infection, toxin, and electromagnetic stress in that spleen. That spleen can't function well, the body can't function well. No matter how many massages and how many chiropractic adjustments and how many neurological visits and how many different pills and how many Lyrica pills and gabapentins and insomnia pills and anxiety pills she can take, she will not get better when there is broken down tissues in her body. So our goal is to remove these stressors and rejuvenate the tissue. She already, after one week of treatment where we treated another system in her body, she came in and felt more energy. No pain reduction yet, but more energy. That's a great starting point after one visit. 
I look forward to sharing more information with you as we progress through this care. Always please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also go to my Facebook page. You can look it up on the bottom of the screen here. It's West Side Advanced Care Center. Thank you for letting me come into your home. I look forward to sharing more information with you and helping you get well.